Hello, welcome to Pilates with Brooke. Today, I'm gonna to give you a reformer workout. Um, I'm gonna do three different videos. Um, this first one is gonna be all for your lower body, um, and then I'm gonna do a core workout and then an upper body workout. So you can check out all three of those in a row or just divide them up as you want. So I am on an Allegra II Reformer by Balanced Body. Um, this is my preferred reformer, but if you have a studio reformer, then by all means, you can do pretty much all of the workout that I'm gonna be giving you today. What you will need besides the reformer is an exercise ball, and this is only to support your head width. So if you don't have one, a rolled up towel will work just fine. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and place our bar in a high bar position. Make sure it is nice and locked in place so it doesn't move anywhere. I like to do heavy weight for the foot bar work. I know that's not typically classical Pilates, but it's just the way that I have taught Pilates for the last 23 years. I like to really get a strong workout, obviously while engaging my core. So I put on both reds, a blue and the green. I leave the yellow off but um, you can vary that up depending on what you feel. I highly recommend starting out strong, but if you feel like you can't control your pelvis or it's just too much for you, then stop, take a spring off or switch out the blue for the yellow, try that out. So let's go ahead and get onto our backs and get the workout started. So lying flat on your back, you're gonna find a neutral pelvis. Unless you have stenosis of the spine, then you will imprint the low back the whole time. Otherwise, I'd like you to find that natural curve of your lumbar spine. You will close the rib cage in, draw the shoulders away from the ears, and actively reach your hands towards the end of the carriage. Your shoulders are equally pressed up against the shoulder board, and you can have your headboard either up or flat. It's totally up to you and what you prefer. We're gonna start with our heels on the bar, feet hip bone width apart, with the feet flexed. Staying in a neutral pelvis, draw the belly button in, close the rib cage, take an inhale to prepare, and then exhale, press yourself out. Inhale as you slowly bring the carriage back in. Resist the springs. Again, exhale, press out, and inhale in. Good, we have about seven more of these. Press all the way up, elongate the legs, and bring it back in. Good, five more here. Good, last two. Last one. And now you're gonna bring it almost all the way in, but not quite. So from here, we're just gonna do little pulses out. So push out and bring it back in. Out and in. So the carriage never fully closes. We're just doing little pulses here for a short bit. Feel the quads engage. Try to think about squeezing into your bottom as well. Just a few more seconds here. Rib cage closed. Feel that burn. Enjoy it, love it, soak it in, make it work. Five more. Four, three, two, one. And then you elongate all the way out and bring the carriage all the way back in for a full close. Beautiful. We're now gonna go into first position releve. So you have the ball of your feet on your bar, your heels are together, and your knees are open about shoulder width apart. You're in that neutral pelvis, so tailbone is grounded, rib cage is closed, arms long, inhale to prepare. Exhale, press all the way out. When you do so, you're still high on your toes and you're actively squeezing the legs together. And then draw that carriage back in with control. Again, exhale all the way up and inhale. Now, if you've been taught to inhale on the way out, that's okay. I just prefer exhaling on the exertion Inhaling on the drawing in. Good. Let's do three more here. Really elongate those legs, fire into the quads, squeeze the inner thighs at the top. Last one. And now we come back in just a little bit and do our pulses. Good. Find that sweet spot, that burning sensation. Push those heels together, stay high on those toes. Good. Breathe into it. Almost there. Give me five more. Four, three, two, one. Press all the way out. Hold yourself out there. Separate your heels. 
let the heels drop through. Good, we're gonna do our tendon stretch or calf raises. From here, lift up high onto the toes and then press them back through. Again, lift up and press through. Lift up and through, seven more. Close that rib cage in. Last two. And then we're gonna run in place. Hold both heels up. Now bend your right knee, let the left heel drop through and then switch and switch. Good, nice little tendon stretch. Think of lifting with the calf muscle to bring the leg up to meet the other before you drop the opposite heel through. Lift up, stretch, lift up, stretch. Four more each leg. Good, three more. Shh. Should feel like a nice burn. Last one each leg. And now let the left heel drop through. Get the foot nice and secure on there and just let that heel soften through. Get yourself a nice stretch. Feels really good. You can kind of move the foot around a little bit on the bar, feeling where you need it the most in your soleus, in your gastrocnemius, the muscles in your calf area. And now lift that leg back up and then drop the right heel through and find that stretch. Good, breathe into it. I know your shoulders might be getting a little bit sore. We're gonna give them a little break here in just a second. Beautiful. And now lift up, bend the knees, bring yourself all the way in. Now I'm gonna have you go into second position. Let your shoulders come away just for a second to give them a little bit of a break. And you're gonna flex your feet. The heels are firmly pressed into the bar. You're gonna go ahead and exhale, push all the way out, take a squeezing into the bottom, and then bring it all the way back in. Again. Good. Drawing that belly button in, closing that rib cage in. Good. Six more. Squeeze into the bottom. Five. Last two. One more, and then we do our pulses. Bring it in, and now pulse it out. Little pulses. Good. Squeeze into that bottom. You got this. Push out a little farther if you can. Five more. Four, three, two, one. Push all the way out and bring it all the way back in. Beautiful. Now we're going releve in second position, okay? So at any point, whenever you're in releve with the heels lifted and on the ball of your feet, if it bothers your patella ligament or the front of your knees, bring yourself back to your heels and really think about engaging through the bottom, okay? So, high on those toes, heels lifted, neutral pelvis, inhale to prepare. Exhale, push all the way out. Really elongate those legs, stay high on the toes, don't let the heels drop through. And now bring it back in. We're good, 10 full ones here. Nine, squeeze to the bottom, work into those thighs. Eight. Four more here. Don't let that pelvis move at all. If you can't control the pelvis, lower your spring weight. Good. One more and then we pulse it. And now bring it in and give me some pulses. Good. Working both feet equally. Nice. Three more. Two. One, push all the way out, finish long, elongating those muscles, and then bend, bring it on in. Good, bring your legs to the center, hands behind your thighs, tuck your chin in, and rock yourself up. You are gonna take off your blue and your green spring, okay? So we're just going for two red to begin with and see how that feels. We're gonna do a little bit of single leg work now. I want you to ground your right heel onto the bar, okay? The left knee is tucked in and that foot is nice and flexed as well as the right one. I want you to press all the way out at the same time, lengthen the left leg up, really flexing the foot to get the elongation into the back of the leg and the work into the front of the leg. And then bring the carriage in. Again, exhale, press out. Inhale, bring it in. Good. Nice and controlled. 
Push that heel up, really get that stretch. Three more here. Last one. Hold it out, point that left toe. You're gonna to go into leg circles now. Belly button is drawn in, cross the left leg over the right heel, hip, circle it around, bring it up and reach it. Again, inhale as you cross over, exhale, pull the tummy in and up. Three more this direction. One more here. And now reverse it, open slightly, sweep around, bring it up and reach it. Really control the pelvis by using the abdominals. Two more here. Last one. And now bend that knee and foot is flexed. Bend the right knee in, give yourself a little bit of a break, and then we're gonna go directly into those pulses with that right leg. Bring the heel back on, push yourself out a little bit, and now we pulse it. Good. So the spring weight's not quite as heavy, but I want you to focus more on keeping your pelvis really stable. Good. Five more here. Four, three, two, one. Push all the way out and then bring yourself all the way back in. Beautiful. Now we're gonna give our feet a little bit of a break from flexing. We're gonna do a little hamstring work and then we'll go back to do the other leg. So now I want your feet to be almost touching on the bar and you're on the arches of your bar. You are now wrapping your feet over the bar. Then in your neutral pelvis, you're gonna take an inhale and then exhale, rock the pelvis to push the, the hip of the low back firmly into the floor and then peel the hips up to find your full bridge. At this point, if you do have your head rest up, I would definitely recommend bringing it down. I should have told you that before we came up. From here, take another inhale, and then exhale, slowly round yourself down, one vertebra at a time, articulating that spine. Come back to neutral, inhale, exhale, imprint the spine, and peel the hips all the way up, inhale at the top, exhale, slowly roll yourself back down. One more like that, inhale, neutral, exhale, imprint, squeeze the bottom, and peel yourself up, keep the feet wrapped, inhale at the top, Exhale, slowly roll yourself down. Now we're gonna stay in neutral pelvis and just lift the hips up, good, and then tap them back down. So the carriage is gonna be a little bit away from the foot bar. Lift up and tap down. Again, squeeze it up and lower. Lift up and lower. Five more here. Five, four, Last one here, we're holding at the top. You're gonna lower the hips a little and lift them right back up. Lower and lift. Good, squeeze them to the bottom. We have six more here. Six, and then we have one last thing. Five, four, three, squeeze the gluteus maximus, two, one, hold yourself up. Inhale, press the carriage out, and then exhale, pull the carriage back in, coming back into that bridge position. Inhale, you lower slightly as you press out. So the hips hover, and then you lift as you pull it back in. Again, inhale out. Rib cage moves with the hips, and lift. Inhale out. Exhale, lift. Working those hamstrings back of the legs, parallel legs, and lift. Four more here. And lift. Three more. Last two. One. And hold yourself here. Feet still wrapped around. Press out a little bit and pull in for 10. Little in and out. Nine. Go ahead. Eight. Seven. Go ahead. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more here. And then round yourself down. Fabulous. Once you're in, close the carriage, pull the knees into your chest, hands go behind your thighs, and then just stretch your legs up. I'm gonna add just one core workout here real quick. We're gonna do some stretching scissors just to lengthen those hamstrings. Take an inhale, exhale, curl the head and chest up. Lengthen your left leg away so it taps the bar. Take your hands, grab onto your right calf muscle. Leg is long and strong, pull the leg in for two little stretches. Stretch, stretch, and then switch. Stretch, stretch, there you go. 
Really reaching up high towards that foot, squeezing that tummy in tight. I know the bar limits the leg not being able to get far away from me, but that's okay. This is more about stretching the leg as it comes to your head. Two more each leg. One more each leg. Beautiful. And then bend the knees into your chest, let the head rest. Perfect, your feet come onto the bar again. Your left heel grounds onto the bar. Your right heel lifts up off. Both feet are flexed. Ready, inhale to prepare. Exhale, push all the way out with the left leg and then lengthen the right leg up. Oh, it feels so good. And then bend the right knee as you bend the left. Again, exhale out. Inhale, bring it all the way in. Good. Seven more. Back of the neck is long. Really extend through both legs. Using the full length of every muscle that we are working and stretching. I've lost count. Let's do three more here. <laughs> I will do that sometimes. Three, two, hold it up. Point toe on the right leg. Left foot still stays flex. Hips stay grounded. Let that right leg cross over the left. Draw the circle, bring it up and reach it. Again, inhale as you cross over, exhale, pull it up. Inhale, do not let the pelvis move. Exhale up, same with the spine. Try and keep it as still as possible by really engaging the core. One more. And now reverse it, open slightly to the right. Sweep around, bring it up and reach it. Again, three more. Pull the tummy in. Last one. And now bend both knees, bring it in. Good, give that left foot a little bit of a break before we go into our pulses. So now, <clears throat> left heel grounds down, right foot lifts up, push out a little bit, and then from here, pulse out. Good, nice and controlled. Don't sling the, uh, the reformer out and away, the carriage. You wanna be very controlled with the lighter weight. Good. About five more here. Squeeze into the bottom as well as the quad. Three, two, one. All the way out, lengthen, and then bring yourself all the way back in. Good. We have one more thing to do and then we're gonna turn on our side. We're gonna do single leg bridges, okay? So with the headboard still down, I want you to take your left leg and you're gonna cross it over the right. So. If you have difficulties, if you have some sort of labral tear in your pelvis or you have some QL, quadratus lumborum, lower back issues, then I want you to stay with both feet on the bar and just do our regular bridges like we did earlier, okay? This one just takes a little bit more challenge because we're only gonna use one leg. So with that left ankle crossed over, you're gonna make sure your left knee is not open out wide to the side. We're not doing a hip stretch, okay? So the knee is more in line with your chest, okay? That right foot on the bar is flexed as well as the left foot here. Your pelvis is nice and parallel. Take an inhale and then exhale, lift the hips straight up, okay? So when you're up here, you're going to adjust the pelvis as needed so that that left hip is not lower than the right. That means you have to squeeze the right bottom a little more and then pull the belly button in tight. And now tap the hip down, no articulation of the spine. Lift right back up and tap back down. Good, again. Making sure that right foot on the bar is nice and secure. The carriage will move a little bit, that's fine. Okay, it's gonna be away from that foot bar just a little bit so that your knee joint on the right leg does not get cramped up. Good, let's do three more here. Three, squeeze that right bottom. Two, last one. Stay at the top, we'll do our pulses. Lower and lift for 10. Should be feeling a good burn on that right booty. Good. Four more here. Four, three, two, last one. Lower yourself down. Beautiful. Bring the left foot down. Take your right ankle, cross it over. This time, let the leg stretch, okay? So the carriage is all the way closed. You can very gently press on your inner thigh on that right leg and just push the leg away. 
to feel a little bit of a deeper stretch into that right hip. And then you can also let the legs lean a little bit to the left hand side. Perfect. Holding for one more breath, just a pretty passive figure four stretch here. And then bring the leg back up. Let the left foot stay on the bar, get it nice and solid. Bring that right leg back up if you tip it off, okay? Both feet are flexed. Right knee is lined up with the right chest, arms long by your side, neutral pelvis, take an inhale. And then exhale, lift the hips up. Good, so find your positioning. Belly button drawn in tight to protect the spine. Neutral pelvis, inhale, tap down. Exhale, lift up. Again, tap and lift. Squeeze into that left bottom. It's okay for the carriage to move a little bit. Good, five more here. Five, hip fully taps down. Four, that sacrum and tailbone. Three, two, and hold it up. Lower and lift for 10. Lower and lift, 10, nine, good. Five, four, squeeze that bottom. Three, two, and one. Lower yourself down, beautiful. Bring the carriage closed. Right foot goes on, left ankle crosses over and settle into that figure four stretch. Beautiful. You can add that pushing out of the inner thigh and a little bit of that lean towards the right. Nice, two more breaths here. Perfect, okay. So now you're gonna bring yourself up you're gonna swing your legs around and you're gonna to come to a seated position on the side of the reformer. So this is where the Studio Reformer and the Allegra 2 Reformer will vary, okay? For the Allegra 2, you're gonna push up on the bar and you're gonna bring it so that it is straight up and down, so at 90 degrees, and you're gonna make sure it's locked in position, okay? We're gonna stay with two red for this then to get in position. So if you have a studio reformer and you can't find, or you don't have the 90 degree angle, then just stay with your high bar and probably add a little bit more spring weight, okay? You don't get as deep of a um, squat as you can with this Allegra 2, but um, it'll still be a good workout. I put my headboard up at this time, keep my shoulder blades or shoulder pads in position. And this is where you're gonna begin bringing your ball or your towel into position. I'm gonna place it on the headboard. My legs come under my bar to give myself a little bit of room. It's a little awkward getting into position here. If you find that you cannot get your hips under here, you can take your bottom leg and kind of push out just a little bit, okay? It's still a little bit tricky. And then slide the hips down. You're gonna bring your back shoulder, your bottom shoulder, excuse me. So I'm laying on my left side. You're gonna bring that up against the shoulder board, and then you're gonna take the ball or the towel underneath your head, okay? So with this, you're then going to bring your foot all the way to the edge of the bar, okay? I want your toes almost off the end. Then the bottom knee tucks in, so you're kind of a tight, tight ball. It's a little bit awkward to begin with, but we'll get out of that in just a second. So from here, then you're gonna take your top hand, place it on the headboard. I like to wrap my bottom hand around, and then I'm gonna push through my heel and push all the way out. So remember, if you find the spring weight is too heavy for you, when we come back in, take the red off, replace it with a blue. So you'll have a red and a blue. Then from here, we're going to bend. Now, keep your knee parallel to the floor. Don't let it open out, don't let it drop in. It is parallel. When we come in, if it's hard to go with your kneecap deeper than 90, then you're gonna take a little more weight off and you're gonna keep yourself at 90 the whole time as you press out, come back to 90 is what I mean. Okay, you guys ready? We're gonna work this now. So just holding this out is challenging. From here, push all the way up. So you're gonna push through the heel, squeeze into the bottom. Inhale, bring it back in with control. Again, out and in. Good. We're doing a total of 15 of these. So we have 10 more here. 10, adjust the pillow as needed. Nine, yes, that bottom shoulder is pushing hard into that. If it's too much, take some of the spring weight off. Good. 
four more. Last two. Last one, and guess what? We have our pulses. Come in 90 degrees, push out 10. Nine, good. Eight. This should be very uncomfortable. <laughs> Four, squeeze that bottom. Three, two, one, push all the way out. Now, we're gonna do one last thing, okay? So you're gonna bend back to 90 degrees, then you're gonna open and close. Open and close. Good, just a small movement. Working into the gluteus medius here. Shh. Five more. Five, four, make sure you're at 90 degrees. Three, two, one, and close the reformer. Bring that bottom foot to the outside and slide yourself up. Beautiful job. Okay, so we're gonna stretch that hip before we go to do the other side. So the leg that you just worked comes up on top. Flex that foot, get that figure four going, and then gently lean forward. Mm, wonderful. And then to deepen the stretch, if it's we need a little bit more, you're gonna take that hand, the opposite hand of the foot that's on the floor, reach across to the outside of that shin, and then just pull yourself forward. Be sure to keep that top leg flexed, that foot flexed. Holding for a couple more breaths. One more breath here. And then bring yourself up, good. Okay, so now we're going to swing around and do the other side. If it's easier for you to get up and walk around, then feel free to do so. We're gonna find our position here with the shoulder hooked on the shoulder board head on. Bring that top foot up. Okay, once you're in position, make sure that your hips, I should have mentioned this on the other side, but that your hips are towards the back of the carriage, okay? So, leg parallel to the bottom leg, push all the way out, and then all the way back in with control. Again, good. So if you feel like you can't keep your leg perfectly stable, if you're kind of moving it in and out as you push out, that is a sign that you need to lower your spring weight. Good, I'm challenging you with heavy spring weight for this first time, but you gotta listen to your body. If it's too much, come up, take that spring weight off, and do it on a lighter weight. Good, I've lost count because I was talking. Let's, let's do three more here, I'm sorry. Three, two, one. Ready for those pulses? Come into 90 degrees and push up. Good, just doing 10 of them. Eight. Six. Four. Oh yeah, three. Two. One, push all the way out. Little break here, okay? Now we're gonna come back to 90. Okay, 90 degrees on the knee, 90 degrees on the hip. Open and close for 10. Nine, good. Eight, keep that reformer pushed or that carriage pushed out. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one, close it in. Very good job. So now we're gonna bring ourselves up and give ourselves that figure four stretch. Ah, sit nice and tall, foot is flexed, and then gently lean forward to intensify the stretch. Just bring that one arm across the opposite shin, and then gently pull. Good. Holding for a couple more breaths with each, with each exhale. Think of softening just a little bit deeper. Good. Nice. Okay, well that concludes the lower body portion. Obviously just mainly using the foot bar for this one. Um, the next lower body section that I do maybe next week, we will start incorporating some other things. If you feel like doing your leg circles right now, then by all means lay down, let those legs stretch out. But if you feel like working into your core, then join me for the next video. I'll see you soon.